read a story from my story bag. It's about something yummy to eat. Yes, some of you already seen it's cat cake. Let me get my story book first. Cat's cake, written and illustrated by Richard Fowler. Today's main character is a cat. Meow, and the cat. And the cat baked a cake today. Here is a cake. Mm -hmm. So he is very pleased with it. So he tried it out on the bear next to door. Let's get the bear from my bed. Rrr. Yum yum. Grunted the bear. It's delicious, but another time perhaps a little honey would help. So bear like to have a little honey in the cake. Oh well, sighed the cat. I'll see if a penguin would like a piece. Where is the penguin? It's in my bag. Let's get our friend's penguin. Never mind, thought the cat. I'll see if Tiger would like to have a slice. So we're gonna get Tiger. Rawr! Yum! Yum! Purr the Perfect cake, but I think a little meat would improve the flavor. Tiger would like to have some meat. So cat off the rabbit a slice of cake. Yum, yum, mumbled the rabbit. It's scrumptious. But, oh, don't tell me, sighed the cat. It needs a few carrots added to it. How did you guess? Ha, 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 laughed the rabbit. The rabbit would like to have a few carrots. Suddenly, ah, uh, here's a monkey. Go, 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 go. So monkey swung down out of a tree and grabbed a piece of a cake. Bananas, bananas, that's what it needs, chuckled the monkey. Go, 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 go. So he jumped up into another tree. Well, as Cat walked home, he went by the field where Goat lived. I hear you baked a cake, 
said the goat. Have you got a piece for me? Meh! Yes! Cat gave goat the last slice. Yum yum! Meh! It's soup, but there's not enough of yet. Who? That's the nicest thing I've heard all day, Cat said. Maybe I'll bake another cake next week. So a week later, Cat was back in the kitchen. Chocolate cake," said the cat as he carefully weighed the ingredients. Eggs, flour, cocoa powder, chocolate, and sugar. Oh, bother! There's not enough sugar. I just ran out to the store. Meow, said the cat. While cat was out, there came along, sniffing the air. Mmm, <laughs> good. I was right, said the bear. Cat is making another cake. He reached in through the kitchen window and poured a jar of honey into the mixing bowl. Look, here's a jar of honey. A moment later, Penguin leaned through the window and popped something. Shiny fish into the cake mixture. The tiger popped his big paw through the window and it dropped. Dropped a pound of fresh raw meat into the bowl. This should be a great cake, <laughs> growled the tiger. <laughs> and the rabbit hopped in up to the window. Oh, oh, oh. Make sure no one was looking. Then they pushed three large carrots into the cake mixture. That will make it a crunch chocolate cake. Hey, get go the rabbit. And lastly, monkey. A banana into the bowl and jumped out of the window. Just as cat came back with sugar, cat poured the sugar into the mixture and. the mixture with a big wooden spoon. A 
And then he emptied the bowl, bowl into a baking pan, and popped it into the oven. And what happened? Well, the following day, Cat invited his friends in for a snack. It's a chocolate cake today, said a cat. I hope you will like it. So Kit Kat cut the cake into seven slices. It looks good, said a bear. It smells good, said a tiger. And all of them agreed it tasted how do you think oh awful <laughs> except goat hey who giggled and said all the more for me man because as you know goats will eat Almost anything. Cat still bakes his cake a cake every week, and they all turn out perfectly. Probably mm -hmm. because he always makes sure the kitchen window is shut tight.